Hey, welcome back to another New World of Turnum. Today, we're going to be talking about why it's so important to join a faction. If you run around town, we got level 26, level 20, level, what is he, 22. Um, you can't join a faction until you're level 17, but there's a lot of people that's not, that's factionless. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense on why you wouldn't join a faction because you don't have to... You don't have to join the PvP wars or you don't have to do that, but it is super important to join a faction and I'm going to show you all why. I'm going to fast travel over to the faction vendor and I'm going to show you all um, some of the things that you can get from joining a faction, some of the things that you can do by joining a faction and um, it'll help you progress your level and your gear score. But yeah, we're going to fast travel over there right now. Actually, do we have a faction vendor here? Let's see if we have a faction vendor in the town. Yep, right there. We're going to run over here and we're going to talk to the faction vendor. And I'm going to show you all some of the quests that we're able to do and how easy it is to level it up. And then after I show you all the quests, then I will go show you all the gear now that we're able to get. Officially joined missions are available anytime on okay, the so it says right here, the Marauders need a captain. Service. Something removed from... These are your missions, right? And so this is what you start off of as you start off as level one and this is the same for the other two factions i just got we just joined the gladiators or the marauders um level zero level two takes three thousand reputation to get to level three or level two takes to uh, three thousand reputation to get to level three on the marauders it takes eleven thousand reputation and this is how you get your reputation um so i need five thousand so this right here give three 355 this one right here will give 1885 or 1085 this one will give 1085 and these are repeatable um the expedition ones i'm not so sure about i didn't realize that this zone does the armine excavation so i might actually be running these here pretty pretty quickly just to be able to get up to level three um these three right here you do have to be flagged for pvp um and it does say that if you look right here this is the little green star thing plus plus marauders influence during races so you get more influence and more uh standing as you do this during a influence race i can't have my tongue there so you'll get more of your reputation i'm not sure about the tokens i'm not sure if you get a lot of the tokens um but you get your exalt stuff your pvp xp your regular base xp your territory standing so this is another good way to even increase your standing with the particular territory that you want to level up for um but let's let's go ahead and fast travel over to the actual um enclave for the marauders and i'll see y'all over there in just a second so real quick i know a lot of people were asking me in chat yesterday where the actual enclave is for the marauders and that is actually right up here in everfall which is going to be where all three of the um, enclaves are for so you got right here the syndicate shrine i'm not 100 percent sure where um the orange people are but if you're part of the Marauders, this is the Marauder Shrine right here. So we can just fast travel. It's over in Everfall. So once we get over here, I'm going to show you all where we go to get the gear and the weapons. Um, like I said, it doesn't take long. I just barely started doing it. And it's, it's, it's going fairly quick. So once I get to that level 3 mark, then I'll be able to get level 400 gear and up. And as you just kind of level up your Marauders or your faction, you're going to be able to keep up with your gear with the proper gear score for the level that you're going to be on but this is going to be some of the gear that you can hey, get in marauders it's it it very slightly by off. name so like right here we got pve we can get so this right here we got to go do the starstone barrows which is i think is the second dungeon that you can get but we go to rewards to start off right if you're just level zero you can farm out and you can get some level 325 gear this is as soon as you turn 17 but you got to be level 20 to use it i just seen the level requirement there but level 20 and that's 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 some decent gear then you come down to gladiator then you got your 350 gear then ravenger you're going to get your 400 and as you level up your faction you got 490 580 all the way up to 650 right and then this is 
six seventy five all your gold and stuff. So that's this really important to start this early. That way, whenever you get to the higher level sixty four sixty five then you'll have decent gear to be able to go and attempt to get the best gear in the game, which is a 725 or get your higher 700 plus stuff. Um, you can also buy some of like, if you note, this gives, um, constitution constitution, no matter what you get, it gives constitution, right? This gives constitution that gives strength your weapon. So your weapons give strength and the, the, the stat that you need. So strength, let's go to some more armor. You get constitution, constitution, constitution. So if you want to change that, you can buy these seals super, super cheap. So if you want to get strength, you'll take this. You'll take this piece of armor or whatever armor you end up purchasing. And then you will take it over to a forge. I don't have any unlocked. I'll go into a more detailed guide on how to do all this on a separate video. This is just kind of the the importance of joining one but you'll take that seal over to its respectable forge its tailor its crafting station and you can upgrade that gear Hail, and warrior. change it you shut up uh oh Hail, warrior. You are a credit but you can life. take it and you can change it to whatever you want it to be so let's just say that's a medium chest piece let's find my heavy chest piece light chest piece where's the heavy where's the heavy right here so if I want to change that constitution over to, let's say, strength, if I want to do a strength build, right? Then I will buy this one right here. Take it over to the forge. You know, light and medium armor is going to be at your clothing station or whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of it. But you're going to take this right here to, the, to your forge, and then you're going to change over that that bonus or the, that that stat over to strength or you know if you want to get dexterity then you change it over to dexterity with this seal here or the focus or the whatever the intelligence focus you know you can use these seals to change your your stat boost or your plus whatever your stat is to what you want it to be um but i found this out late which i'm not too too late i'm level what 38 um, just started grinding these out last night. I'm going to start grinding them out some more. That way I can get my gear. But I just wanted to bring the light. I see so many people not being in a faction. So many people not having the gear that they should have. And it's not hard. It's really, really not hard. Um, in order to do the PvP ones, it, if you don't want to do PvP, that's fine. You don't have to. Um, I don't really delve into the whole, whole lot of PvP. The PvE ones, um, as far as I know, are repeatable. But the PvP, dude, you can't fast travel. It's not bad. You just stay along the road and you use your mount, right? And you just go and you have to go collect this chest, this chest, kill this person, this person. And it keeps you in that zone. So it doesn't take too long. And they're repeatable. So it doesn't take long. If you're looking for a group to help level this up with, please consider joining the Discord. Um, we have open mic, voice chats. Um, and even if you don't want to, op you know, get in voice chat, just text in the regular chat and we'll get some people in there to help you and kind of guard you. Now, don't get me wrong. We're not the best, but, um, yeah, we are just a small growing community that is looking out for each other, helping each other level up. So yeah, if you, uh, enjoyed this video and you learned something, please hit the like buttons, consider subscribing with the notification bell on because we'll be making a whole lot more content over new world. We're really, really loving it. It's a great game. Um, but yeah, with that, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.